Welcome back to Better Living. We are here at Professional Skills Institute where we are doing our hall broadcast live today. And I am joined with Deanna Lim, who is the PTA Program Director. Thanks so much, Deanna. And we also have Dr. Anthony Atkins, who is a Mercy Urgent Care Director, a physician that is. Sorry about that. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks Deanna, for coming. Let's, Deanna, let's start with you a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about Professional Skills Institute in general. Well, Professional Skills Institute was founded in 1984 by Patricia Finch, who is an RN, and we started out with a medical assisting program, and we have grown to include not only medical assisting, but pharmacy technician, medical coding and billing, um, physical therapist assisting, and practical nursing. Great. So there's definitely a lot of things here you can learn. It's definitely a hands-on program, which we talked about, which is what we're going to see a little bit today. Um, Dr. Acton, let's talk a little bit about medical assistant. Talk a little bit about what you do first. Well, first of all, I'm a medical doctor. I, I do urgent care at the um, Mercy Urgent Care in Oregon next to St. Charles. And what we like to see with the MAs when they come in, the basic fund of knowledge, do the blood pressures, temperatures, set up the sterile field, things of that nature. Um, and then, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, after you see the you know, reception, receptionist, the next person is the MA. So most like that ability to communicate also. Right now, I know uh, we have some skills. Talk about some of the skills that are going on right now so we can tell everybody at home exactly what they're doing there. Right there, you see blood pressures being taken, and that is a very important skill because this day and age, you know, we have an increase in blood pressures now. So we like to be accurate. We like the, the MAs to exactly know what they're doing and how to do it because we have to take care of that situation. <laughs> Great. And what are the most important skills, would you say, a physician needs an MA to have? What would you say are the top things? Communication to me is so key because, like I said, most people, they come in, they're sick already. They don't feel good. And, and, and we like the MAs to really, really be able to, you know, you know, present that to us. And then we can take better care of the patient that way. So how would you say graduates from PSI fulfill what you're looking for in an MA? Every person that I dealt with from PSI were beautiful. I didn't have to do a thing. They almost were able to anticipate my moves, which is a plus. Great. And um, just as far as Deanna, we'll turn this back to you. What would you say is the future needs and jobs outlook for MAs? I mean, because I know you're you're right. dealing with this on a regular basis. Right. MAs are used in every aspect of health care. And the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says this 10-year job outlook is going to grow 29 percent. And that's a huge need for MAs. And so we definitely want to um, contribute to the health care uh, field with qualified, skilled, compassionate MAs. And so we, we're really excited about our MA program and we'd really like to see um, people get a chance to just enter into the medical field and start, start there and maybe uh, work up into some other things as well. Great. Now, Dr. Atkins, how would you say, how important is it to have an MA that, you know, is on time, knows their stuff? Because I know there's certain things besides knowing your knowledge. What would you say? It's important? very important because they, that, that helps us, that helps the docs out. And sometimes some of the docs are like me. We kind of slow with the computer games and some of these young ladies, they come in, they teach us right away. So it's a big team effort. And, uh, and like Deanna said here, most MAs, I started off as a medical assistant, so I have an MD degree, so you never know what you can produce from a PSI. Great. Right, and he talks about the computer skills. We have a medical uh, billing and coding specialist program here as well, which is really talking about getting in there and being able to manage today's healthcare language, today's uh, billing language, the new ICD-10. And so we also have a program where students can come and learn how to um, manage the billing office of a, of a physician's office and be able to put together an accurate billing to help the doctors collect you know, what they're doing and also help the patient have an accurate bill, be able to describe that bill to them and really help them to um, obtain and access the services that they need. Great. And, and just talk a little bit about, obviously, we saw the demonstration a little bit earlier. Just talk about how important it is and one of the main priorities you guys do here is hands-on learning and, and how it actually benefits the doctors in the long run. Right. In our MA program, which is a one-year diploma, students start taking their clinical classes in the first quarter. Wow. So they arrive at PSI and they're learning their medical terminology and their anatomy and physiology, but they're also starting their clinical classes on day one. And just like what um, we've seen here with the, the blood pressures, the vital signs, and it moves into phlebotomy, uh, running an EKG, uh, drawing blood for, for the labs. And so students get started right away and they can graduate in one year 
and get out there and get started at Dr. Atkins office <laughs> which is great and I'll be ready for them <laughs> <laughs> now we mentioned it would be one year kind of talk about now this is, could be for anyone who maybe is looking is it a part-time full-time program to graduate with it a year right our allied health programs which include the medical assisting pharmacy tech and the medical billing and coding are all one-year diploma programs and so it is one year daytime classes it's just like getting up and going to work and so we really treat the classroom like a work experience um, our students are in uniform and they are expected to live up to professional standards and again the, the classrooms are very conducive to hands-on our instructors are well vested into our students success and so it's very doable um, you may take two classes in one day you may take three classes in a day but um, uh, it's just weekdays, just like a work schedule, and I, I think it's really doable for anybody. Great. And Dr. Atkins, how many would you say, how many MAs would you say are in per office? Is there multiple people that kind of rotate shifts? How does that work? Multiple people. They rotate shifts, and, and each one, pretty good, because <laughs> they graduated from PSI. <laughs> Wonderful. Anything else you guys would like to add about the MA program? Um, I just want to thank Dr. Atkins for his partnership with PSI. He's also a member of our advisory board. And oh, so wonderful. his input and the input of our stakeholders is so important to continue to improve our programs. And so we're excited. Great. You should be. This is amazing. I mean, we just saw hands-on experience. And it's, I feel like that's the best way to learn when you have a program, especially like this, because you can only learn so much from a book, I feel, anyway. Right. And then they get out there and they have an externship in a medical office where the doctors can continue to build on those foundational skills. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Atkins. I know, Dan, you're sticking around with us for a little bit. So thanks so much for being with us. I thank appreciate you. it. We'll be right back with more. Stay with us. Welcome back to Better Living. We are here at Professional Skills Institute, where again, we are doing our hall for a broadcast that is live today. And we are joined by Deanna Lim, who's the PTA, PTA, I'm saying, director. And then we also have Sherry Wood, who is with Hickory Ridge of Temperance, and you are the admissions and marketing director, yes, correct? absolutely. Thank you so much, ladies, for being with us. Thank you for having Let's me. Let's start with you, Sherry. Kind of talk about what you do here. Okay, uh, Hickory Ridge is really fortunate actually to have PSI students come to our facility and complete their clinical uh, training skills there. Um, we really enjoy them being there. They show a high level of professionalism, uh, very caring, compassionate, and of course very no clinically knowledgeable, which is really what we like to see in our facility. Um, and you know, of course, taking care of our residents. Great. And Dan, do you want to talk a little bit about how the partnership with you guys is Yeah, it's so important for us as a health education school to have strong clinical sites for our students to take what they've learned in the classroom and in the lab experiences and actually get to apply it to, to like as you said, the residents. Yeah. And so they get to work alongside your staff and um, your nurses and they get to um, assist in taking care of those residents under supervision and build their skills Absolutely. and actually get ready for entry level skills. Yeah. And so Hickory Ridge has been a great partner with us. Um, not only taking our students to train, but hiring so many of our graduates wow, too. Wow, that's wonderful. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we, we do. We have several LPNs, gra or PSI graduates that are LPNs at our facility. Uh, we also do have a couple CNAs right now that are working towards their LPN here at PSI. Um, and again, they just, they just bring this high level of professionalism and, and a standard to our facility, which we really appreciate. Right. I'm excited. One of the things that they're able to take with them is the skills they learn in the lab, like what people are seeing right now. Mm -hmm. That's our simulation unit. And so what they're seeing is this this um, like a mannequin and he's computerized and so the instructors can actually simulate different um, uh, problems and blood pressures and cardiac problems and then the students are able to assess that and so it's it's just such a nice way to take what they learn in the classroom with the technology that we have here and then actually apply it to real human beings and, and see that's how they do. Good. No, no, that's pretty because I think it's, it's great because it really gives you the idea of this is what's wrong and then for to really be able to diagnose and to fix without using real people. Right, I'm they, sure get that to, would be yeah. scary. <laughs> they get to practice a little bit. You can't really simulate a heart attack, right. but we can on our simulator, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about um, how can an LPN advance in your type of uh, Hickory Ridge of Temperance is actually part of a Sienna Healthcare Corporation, and within Sienna we have a uh, tuition reimbursement program that they're absolutely able to take advantage of. Um, also, with the CNAs that are currently after they graduate from PSA and become an LPN, they can advance their, um, their career at Hickory Ridge and, and advance into an LPN position. And of course, to further um, use their skills. 
So how is the current, I don't know who wants to answer this one, sure. what is the, how's the current job outlook for, to, for a practical nurse? Well, right now we're, we're always looking for, um, you know, LPNs at our facility, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and of course we need, we're looking for people that are caring, compassionate, um, can really just help our facility grow as well, and we really do see that coming out of the students from PSI. Right, right. and nationally, we're expecting LPN jobs to grow 25% based on the U.S. Wow. Bureau of Labor Statistics for the 10-year average. Mm -hmm. And a 25% job growth is twice what national average for job growth is. And so that's a very promising field. Oh, of course. And what's really exciting is it's an 18-month program. So students can start at BSI, become an LPN in 18 months, get working in the field, mm -hmm. and like you talked about tuition reimbursement, if they want to then go back and become an RN and advance their degree, they get to get out into the profession much quicker than wow. maybe looking at a four-year degree right away. Mm -hmm. And so we love the, the hands-on approach and the early clinical skills that mm -hmm. they get. And they get a taste of what they're going to do. And I think it really builds those skills faster. So what type of classes, if someone's at home watching this and they're interested, what type of classes do they have to take? Do they have to be the best in math and science? Because I know I stick more towards English. Right. So I would probably not be the best contender. <laughs> math and science are quite helpful. I would like to get the right medication um, when you, when you uh, inject that uh, medication. I would imagine. But, um, but we, we definitely start at a fa foundational level, though, and we build those skills. And so, of course, math is important, but we build foundational. We start with the basics and build up with a mathematics for meds course. Of course, a nutrition class, working with geriatrics, medical surgical, and that's really the, the core of what LPNs work with is those medical surgical patients. Um, they're going to get their anatomies and medical terminology so they can speak the language and, 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 and um, be able to document appropriately. So the curriculum starts out right out with those courses and by the second quarter they're already in lab classes. They're already doing the hands-on things and by third quarter they're already getting a taste of clinical experiences mm -hmm. out in the field mm -hmm. in the community at healthcare facilities. Great. And Jerry, how, would, how important would you say the hands-on program is for when they come out into the field? Are you seeing a difference between maybe a program that doesn't have the hands-on activity? Absolutely. Um, you know, we we see different things day to day, uh, and and to have that knowledge to be able to think on your feet and know what to do um, instead of reading it, you know, just strictly textbook. Sometimes we can know what to, we can know what to do, but to really actually do that hands-on, real cl critical thinking is super important, especially for taking care of the residents and the high acuities that we do have at our facilities. Right. So. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for being with us. And again, if you're interested, you guys can contact you guys. Yeah, it's so easy to get a hold of us. Just um, our phone number is four one nine seven two zero. 6670 and we have a very dynamic website too that in, uh, gives you an introduction to all of our programs proskills.edu perfect easy enough yeah all right thank you so much ladies and we'll be right back with more better living Welcome back to Better Living. We are here at Professional Skills Institute where I am joined with Deanna Lamb, who is the program director. And also we are here with Teresa Schiemann. You are the regional director. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. So let's kind of jump in here. Let's start with you since we've mm -hmm. kind of already met Deanna. Mm -hmm. But uh, Teresa, talk about what you do here. Um, well, I was in the first graduating class for the PTA program here at Professional, in Professional Skills Institute. I graduated in 1992. Wow. Yeah. So um, my role with Professional Skills Institute today is that we take their students at our at our sites and also uh, eventually end up hiring some of the graduates as well. So this kind of has a little uh, more sentimental feeling to you, being that you went here, you've experienced it. Kind of talk a little bit about that. I hear you had a job before you even graduated. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> a, a little bit of a different economy and time back then, but I was lucky enough to be offered a position before I even graduated from the school, so I had a job coming right out of college. And um, from there, I, I was a clinical PTA for probably about 10 years and worked in all different kinds of settings with some really good companies. 
and after that I was offered a position to be a director of a therapy department in a nursing home. So I took that position on and from there I met the company that I work with today and um, I directed a, a single therapy um, clinic at, at a nursing home and then worked my way up to area coordinator wow. and then eventually up to regional director of rehab which is my current position right now so I oversee about nine clinics and about 150 employees. So you are very busy. All right. I am. Well, thank you for taking time to talk with <laughs> yeah, us today. Sure. This is great. So talk about Deanna. I want to talk a little bit about the physical therapy assistant program that you have here that is helping her out as well. Right. So uh, Teresa is a, a longtime friend of mine. I remember we worked together out in the physical therapy field as mm -hmm. well. And so I can speak to her clinical skills that she got started here at PSI. And now with APRN, her current company, um, they hire so many of our grads. And it starts for anybody just by giving us a call and showing interest in our program. And um, like as you can see right now, a demonstration of how our students learn hands-on. Um, that's what we call gate training. And they're working with an instructor, learning how to uh, teach a patient how to use crutches, how to measure them, how to uh, focus on safety. So they'll be doing some stair climbing. And, those are types of things you see in uh, the, the stereotypical therapy clinic. You've got that BAPS board there to, and the stairs. But anyone that's interested, um, they just give us a call at 419-720-6670, or they can check out our website, which is proskills.edu. It's a 24-month program, but it's only two days a week. For most, cl most, most quarters, it's two days a week. It's definitely some, someone can come in who maybe has a part-time job or is, is uh, raising a family, and we just invite them to come in and inquire and you know, see the successes that we've seen with our, with our graduates. And what would you say for someone who is watching this and saying, maybe I have an interest, what's the job outlook right now? Is it something that is growing, would you say? Absolutely. Nationwide, the job um, outlook is 41% growth in PTA jobs nationwide, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. And Teresa can speak to the local job market and how she um, has a need for, for good qualified PTAs. Yeah, I think, um, first of all, we all recognize that the baby boomers are starting to come of the age where health issues are, are on the rise and um, particularly falls seem to be uh, an issue that we're dealing with quite a bit. So um, working with patients on, uh, on gaining better balance and just general mobility skills as well. So um, our clinics are growing and our population is, is getting sicker and older because we're living longer. Um, so I think there's a huge need for therapy assistance and, and all types of therapy in, in the local as well as, as national, like you said. Absolutely. Great. So talk a little bit about, I mean, if someone's home and they're, you know, talk about the program itself. I mean, we talked about it's two days a week and how long does it take, like kind of the classes you take, that kind of thing, gives someone an idea of really what they're getting into. Sure. Um, starting out, of course, you need to learn the medical terminology and the anatomy and physiology. Yeah. And that's the rough, I would probably that, stink at. That's, that's the rough part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, muscles and bones, things like that. We move into kinesiology. We learn about how the body moves, what happens when it's diseased or injured and when it's recovering from surgery. And then we get our students out into clinical sites, much like where Teresa's at at APRN, and they're able to work alongside with a therapist or a therapist assistant one-on-one -on -one in the clinical setting. Our mm -hmm. students go out with a one-on-one -on -one clinical instructor. They come back. We learn some um, higher-level skills in the, the neurology and the cardiac areas of care. And then we get them ready for some final clinicals, uh, 10 weeks to sharpen their skills in a full-time clinical wow. and get ready to take their licensing exam. That's pretty quick. Yeah. And Teresa, maybe you could talk a little bit. Just when you have you know students from PSI coming in, what mm -hmm. are some of the things that you do on a regular basis with them to get them acclimated? Well, um, they will be assigned to a specific therapist who will act as their clinical instructor when they're in the field. So depending on what site they're at, they, they need to learn everything from orientation process so that they um, understand the policies and procedures of the facility and how we have a culture in our company of treating patients with respect and making sure that they are the center of everything that we do every day. So clinical skills is only a piece of what a student would learn in, in one of our facilities, which is, you know, it's essential that, that students and new grads have those, the, the base knowledge of clinical skills when they're um, coming out of the program. But almost equally important 
um, is the fact that they need to be hungry to learn more because there's no graduate, I think, in probably any industry that's coming right out of college and able to have all the knowledge and skills that they need to be successful long term. So we want our new grads and our students to be hungry to learn and to ask questions and to be able to develop their skills and, and experience over time so that they can become a great therapist. Great, and I don't, I don't see how you couldn't. I mean, with that hands-on experience and really being in the workforce, I feel like you really have that opportunity to really embrace it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for being with us. I appreciate it. And again, if we want to head over to tell everybody your website one more time. Sure. It's real easy. Proskills.edu. <laughs> Give us a call, 419-720-6670. Perfect. Thank you very much, and we'll be right back with more Better Living.